Hello everyone, welcome to the Ichimoku.co daily futures market review for the trading day ending Tuesday, May 10th. Firstly to gold futures and uh, here we see a continuation of the trend to the downside. The can we're analysing is the second last candle on the chart. Uh, the formation of a weak indecisive spinning top type candle does suggest uh, that uh, there is a very real possibility of the buyers returning back into this market of a change of trend. As always we do require confirmation so looking for the next candle to form a higher high and a higher low. Uh, the indecision has come into the market around this 12.66 and a half level and that follows the very strong selling of the previous day's trading. The uh, sellers finding very strong downside momentum and the uh, sellers not going on with the move today. Also strong support coming in around the Kitchen Sand which trades around 1261 which we should continue to watch over the next day or so. Um, at the moment the market is finding support in this new session around the 1266.5 level uh, but uh, there may be some resistance coming in around 12.73, a previous important area of uh, resistance. If the market does breach out through there, and we are seeing some early bullish activity here, if we do breach up through there in the bullish manner, we should be watching the Tankard Sen at 12.82 to potentially hold as resistance, and then the area just above around 12.84.9. In terms of Ichimoku, still a bullish market in the longer term and the medium term time frame, supported by the chicken span, but still just bearish in the short term. So a lot depends on how the market reacts around that Tenkan Sen in the short term time frame, if the market does rally, but also the uh, Kujin Sen, if it fails to hold as support, as it has done uh, uh, quite often over the last few weeks, uh, then we certainly could see the market trade lower and potentially down to the top of the cloud around 1237.9 distance. Next to NYMEX Oil, and uh, the buyers have returned into this market today a white body candle as opposed to the uh, black body of the previous day's trading. Uh, quite a good answer from the buyers here today, considering the large size size of the black body. They haven't uh, uh, filled in that black body. It's not as large as uh, the previous, but uh, it certainly is uh, quite uh, large in relative terms to a lot of the candles prior to it, suggesting uh, that the buyers have returned. Uh, with some solid upside momentum between the open and the close. They've also taken control away from the sellers and uh, suggesting there is potential for uh, NYMEX Oil to trade two higher levels in line with the bullish market in terms of Ichimoku by trading above the cloud in the longer term time frame and the medium term time frame by trading above the Qtin Sen. Having said that however, uh, there is potential for resistance to, to continue around this $44.78, $45 level. Uh, it has been an important level of resistance in the recent past with the market being rejected from there for just about every candle for the last week and a half. Um, and also with the tank and trading just above there around 45 it does strengthen the resistance there. Now if we do close in a bullish manner above there and if we consider how the market has approached this area uh, for for today's trading activity as opposed to this approach. Uh, the market has built momentum here on this approach and it is suggesting that there is a very good opportunity here from the buyers to trade out through that area because they are now stronger than they were when they previously approached. If we look at these candles, the buyers lost commitment in a significant way when we approached previously and we had very small body trading suggesting a lack of momentum in net terms to the upside. The momentum is here, it's just up to the buyers to show, show some follow through. If we do see the market close up above there in a bullish manner we could easily end up trading to 46.72 in line with those higher time frame trends.